God bless you. Hello, Bishop Wooden here. Listen, I'm a little under the weather. You can hear it in my voice. Uh, of course, I have a raspy voice when everything is going right. So I don't know if you can tell the difference or not. But anyway, I'm excited about tonight. And I want to invite you to join me tonight for the service. You know, saints, we are living in the last days. And we're living in days where people are calling wrong, right, and right, wrong. And uh, isn't it amazing that, uh, that uh, uh, the thought police, the thought police are going back into people's social media, into their tweets, into their past lives, and bringing up things that they've said, which on the face of what they've said, there's nothing wrong with it, there's nothing ungodly, there's nothing that, uh, that, that people don't normally do in the course of banter back and forth, as with uh, Murray, the recent Heisman Trophy winner, Kyla Murray, and they, he, uh, somebody called some tweets to surface. They said that he used a anti-gay slur. You know I don't call it gay. And, um, and the guy had to get up and apologize and say, I apologize for the tweets that have, that have come to light uh, uh, tonight from when I was 14 or 15 years old. I used a poor choice of words that doesn't reflect who I am or what I believe. Uh, I, d I did not intend to single out any group of people. So now we're living in a day where if at 14 or 15, you happen to have tweeted something or posted something or said something that is considered to be anti-gay. I mean, you're talking about, and you know, I don't call them gay. Gay means happy, upright, and bright. Um, but for the sake of this, we're in a day now where the thought police is so intrusive that they go back in your life and they try to find something that you've said. If you've said anything that disagrees with homosexuality, if you've said anything that even reflects the biblical God's opinion on this lifestyle. Well, I'll tell you, my friends, I don't apologize for a thing that we've said because we've taken the biblical position, not just on this issue, but on every issue. I want to say to the Christians out there, stand for the word of the Lord. Come tonight. We're going to talk about some things. I want to say to the Christians out there, do you see what's going on with Christmas? Do you see how that the marketers are going out of their way? It is the holiday season, the winter season, the season seasons. I mean, now it's an unknown season. It's an unknown holiday. Why don't they just put up on a, a do like they did in, in, in Acts and just put a, a subscription on the altar to the unknown God? This is an unknown season now. Seasons greetings. Holiday seasons. We have your seasons car. Your seasons gift. Seasons, seasons, seasons. Well, what season is it? Very few marketers, very few companies just come out and say, the Christmas season. I pray that you will support those that include the word Christmas, that, that actually say Merry Christmas. I, I, I think that, 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 that we've gone too far to say Merry Christmas now offends people. Uh, businesses are afraid to use the word Christmas, but you better not disagree with the LBGTQ community on any subject. It is the new protected class. Black folk never had this protection. Uh, the Hispanics have never had such protection. Whites have never had such protection. No real minority group has ever had such protection. And you know what we did? We made up a minority group. The LBGT community is the only group that has been given minority status, and it's not official, but have been given minority status based solely on who they have sex with and the kind of sex that they have. I'll see you tonight at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. God bless you. I love you. See you tonight.